Okay. Uh, well, happy Monday. <laughs> so nice to see you again here. And uh, it's been a kind of an interesting week. I was talking today on the phone to David Holt. You know, David, uh, North Carolina, uh, banjo player, guitar player, uh, real roots uh, musician. And he does a little TV show called, uh, let's see, uh, The State of Music, The State of Music, and asked me if I would play on it. And he specifically asked if I would play a tune that I had learned from Doc Watson, a uh, Doc Watson album. Uh, called Memphis Blues. And so, boy, I hadn't thought about Memphis Blues for a long time. So, uh, let's see if I remember it. And I, this is one I used to play in high school. And uh, I learned it from that Doc Watson record. And then finally, Years later, when I got a chance to sit in the living room and actually play it for my hero, play it for Doc Watson, he laughed and he said, oh, you're playing my part and Merle's part at the same time. So <laughs> I didn't know it was a duet. <laughs> but anyway, this is Memphis Blues. that little ending bit from that little little thing uh, in Chicago from an old blues player there and uh, that was, uh, well, it was uh, David Bromberg who I learned that from that's right that's who I learned it from and uh, fun times that we've lived in where we get to hang out with uh, really cool musicians and nice to hang out with you I see uh, Tom Hankinson is here let me get my uh, my apparatus here, so I can see who's chiming in and saying hello. Say, oh, there you are, TJ and Yvonne, uh, Bill, hello from California, right? And Jim Doyle, excellent, Scotty uh, and Adam, hello to you both. And uh, yep, let's see, and, and Mark, Mark Stallman's here, great. So nice to see you all. And uh, let me see. I need to clean these off to see all the <laughs> all the international names that are popping in here. So uh, you're watching, uh, I'm trying to check the hellos both from the Facebook and the YouTube page and uh, nice to nice to see you here. Okay, new stuff that's happening is uh, the tickets are now out. We are committed. We're going to do the concert on the sailboat. So if you uh, go to my website or go to the, the uh, 
link that everything's on, murielanderson.com slash now, then you can uh, uh, pick up tickets for that. And it's a 360 virtual reality experience. So I've never done something like this. So it's a camera that, that films in all directions at once. And when you're having the special viewer, so uh, if you get a, a full price ticket, you get a viewer mailed to your home and uh, then you tuck your cell phone in there and it has a special viewing screen. So when you turn your head, you see the scene that's to the left. Let me turn your hand this, this way. You see the scene that's to your right. And uh, so I bet Brian is going to be fishing off the back of that sailboat. <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen in the other uh, dimensions uh, of this concert. So a whole new thing. I hope the uh, the weather holds up for us. We're going to do that on uh, the 23rd, Friday, October 23rd, but you can get your tickets at any time. And we also uh, gotten a season pass. So I see there's a, a season pass holder here who just has chimed in and saying hello. Uh, so we're doing a lot of different things, including workshops and uh, the my, my Saturday after Thanksgiving concert. We're still talking to Trader Joe's t- to see if they will mail the baked goods to your home. Because normally it's a big part of the Saturday after Thanksgiving concert is the goodies at intermission. So uh, we're going to s- try to see if we can get something mailed to, to their home. So we're looking to see if there's something individually wrapped that we can... Uh, give that same experience. So we're trying to recreate these experiences in every way that we can. So between the the 3D thing and uh, interactive workshops and uh, hopefully getting uh, getting some munchies there so you can enjoy the the other part of the Saturday after Thanksgiving show. Maybe some pumpkin pie. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. And uh, Today, it was uh, kind of overcast most of the day, and then there was just one time where the sun came out. And uh, I remembered I wrote a song about that that very thing. It's called Cloud Cover. And I was trying to capture that that feeling with this cloudy all day, and then this one hour that the sun comes out, and you have to run out and grab that time that's sunny. And uh, in the music, it's where the G major chord comes in, okay? So that's indicating the little sunshine here. This is cloud cover.
I recorded that with Tierra Negra on the New World Flamenco CD, and I don't think I've ever played that solo, really. I've always played it with Leo and Rauji, the uh, two German flamenco guitarists. Um, they go by uh, Tierra Negra, and uh, boy, I, I miss uh, playing with them. If, if they're uh, chiming in here every now and then, uh, they'll uh, stay up late enough. It's a little late in Germany uh, to catch these and say hello. And uh, it uh, was always great fun touring with them. So well, let me say a couple more hellos and uh, get my uh, this so I can see across the room. And uh, oh yeah, Larry Collins, hello from Cincinnati, and Paul. Uh, oh yeah, from Chicago, so, hello, uh, William. Uh, Cloud cover, yep, that is the tune. Uh, Joyce uh, and Scotty both, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, thanks for your compliment on that. I haven't played that solo, so I didn't know how that, that goes across solo. And, uh, and Fabio says, hello from Brazil. Oh, great, great. Well, I might, I might just have to play Rio de Janeiro. I know I did that last time, but if we have somebody from Brazil, uh, chiming in here. That's pretty special. So, uh, okay, I'll do that for you. So I did this at the uh, last uh, last week's, but a uh, um, couple other things I should mention is that I got in the mail some, uh, my new uh, super trebles for my harp guitar. And uh, I'll show that to you right after I uh, play Rio de Janeiro. I said I'd love to go for a little rendezvous, thinking of the sweet hellos. If I'd only known that I alone in Rio de Janeiro There's so many times that it's made me sad but I'm making up my mind that I won't let it last cause it's not all that bad in Rio de Janeiro City lights are flashing in a syncopated fashion Soon you'll see me laughing And in the streets of people alone Are dancing to the samba in Rio de Janeiro You can't ever trust a man Who promises the moon, the beach and all its sand What's a girl to do to keep from being blue? In Rio de Janeiro Rio de Janeiro Who'd have ever known I'd be all alone in Rio He knew To meet in Rio
And I might just stay right here in Rio de Janeiro You can't ever trust a man who promises the moon, the beach and all its sand What's a girl to do to keep from being blue in Rio de Janeiro? Well, if you missed the songwriting festival yesterday, that uh, I played that in, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the story that I talked about there. And this actually wasn't written in Rio de Janeiro. In fact, I've never been to Brazil. I would love to go sometime. And uh, when we're all traveling again, won't that be nice? Yes. Um, but I wrote it when I was in France, and uh, my boyfriend was supposed to meet me there and didn't, and didn't show up, and I was feeling pretty bad, and um, a friend, oh, it was Brian just called from the other room, it was not Brian, no, it was a pre-Brian <laughs> experience, <laughs> um, so uh, a friend uh, in uh, in France there, Joe Vercchio played this Brazilian style, and he had just showed me that you could do um, not only down strokes with a thumb, but also down up, and not and with the fingers, so you can you can get you can get a little rhythm going with downs and ups of the thumb, and then with with the fingers you can do downs and ups also. So. So you can get kind of two different rhythms going with the thumb and the finger. So I was kind of intrigued with that, and I was playing with this idea, and just playing those chords started to make me feel better. And then I took what I was feeling, and because it didn't really sound Parisian, that I changed the location to Brazil. <laughs> so that's how it turned into Rio de Janeiro, uh, the behind-the-scenes story. Okay, I'll pull out my harp guitar and super trebles. Uh, let me uh, say a couple more hellos. Uh, and if you said hello earlier and I didn't see it, it's uh, it's flipped up and I can't see it anymore, so pop in another hello for me. Um, so we're saying, uh, oh, Fabio says muito bom. Okay, thank you. Um, all right, and uh, Gil is here. Uh, so, oh, Gil wants to know uh, what's for lunch. It's not lunch, it's dinner. Actually, it's in the oven right now. Um, Brian, do you want to come and open the oven? Well, okay, here. All right, I'll show you what's cooking for dinner. Uh, it is in the cookbook, by the way. Hang on. I'll tip it this way so you can see. See how it's doing. Now, uh, this is a very old stove. Uh, we are in uh, 1937? 1937 stove. And so that's why we are holding the oven door closed with a mallet, uh, so just to keep it from falling open. OK. All right, here we are. I'll kick the mallet out of the way. And there we go. And we have. Looking good. It's getting there. Are you ready? Mmm. Okay. Eggplant parmesan. All right, put that back into place. Almost ready. So we can't stay online too long because it looks like the eggplant parmesan is almost done.